this is a new building. They pretty much cleaned everything, but I wanted to come in advance, mop the floors and disinfect a little bit. I know it's gonna get dirty again on the day of my move, but I think it's better to do a little bit of it right now. Yeah, as you can tell, this new house is really bright. There's a lot of sunlight coming in. Yeah, I'm excited. They even give us a brand new cutting board. What the? Thank you. Let's do this. I need some musica. Musica, please. Ay, 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 go crazy. I was very dubious about the measure app on Apple but I measured it with both my measuring tape and this and it's accurate Wow, I'm impressed Sorry for doubting you Technology and Apple I'm just gonna rely on my phone now. Oh, so cool. It's the window. Let's do the wall. To the window. To the wall. Ooh. 2.42. Uh-huh. But I'm still a little dubious, so let me measure it with my... So it's not a hundred percent reliable because I just proved it wrong. So my mattress actually came super early. So while I'm here, I'm just gonna take it out and put it in my bedroom for now. bed frame is gonna be here in like three weeks so I'm just gonna have to sleep on my mattress I'm gonna unbox no not unbox I'm going to take all these plastic wrappers off my fridge first Relax, girl. Relax. 
I've never had a brand new fridge before, so this feels really cool. Hi guys, very random, but um... I am finally doing a Sailor Moon collection. I've been meaning to do this for literally two years. I kid you not. I've been planning this since I moved into this house, which was two years ago. I was planning on making a whole dedicated video to my Sailor Moon collection, and I was like doing some research and stuff like that, and then... I don't know. Life happened, and then... We've come to this. I'm literally moving out of this house tomorrow and I'm filming this a day before I'm moving out. Kind of because like I really don't have any time now and I have no choice. I kept putting it off because I felt like my editing wouldn't be good enough to um, make it look the way I wanted it to with like graphics, stuff like that. The things I imagined, like envisioned in my head, I was not able to do. So I was like, oh, if I'm gonna make it mediocre, I guess like I'm not gonna do it. So I put all my Sailor Moon collection stuff into one box when I moved here and that box has been literally sitting in the corner of my bedroom for two years. You know, I kept telling myself, girl, you gotta unbox that and make a video on it or like, I don't know, donate it or something because I, it was just sitting there and I wasn't opening it, I wasn't looking at it and I don't know, it doesn't sit right with me that I'm just hoarding these figures and these things just for the sake of hoarding it when I know that, I don't know, maybe other people can actually take care of it. Um, what was I saying? I forgot. Yeah, so it didn't sit right with me for me to hoard these things without even looking at it because I feel like I was just holding on to them for the sake of holding on to them. I mean, don't get me wrong, I still love Sailor Moon, but I don't think I want to like collect stuff anymore just because I... <sighs> Most of these things were gifted to me by fans over the course of the last eight, nine years. Um, but I hope you guys can understand. Um, it's just that I want someone to actually take care of them, dust them, look at them, and be sparked joy while looking at them. Um, so after I film this, I'm actually going to donate these to the charity center so there will be somebody who enjoys them more than I do. If you're one of the fans who got me these, um, know that I still love you and I appreciate it so much. I do kind of feel sad letting them go and saying goodbye to them but I know there will be someone out there who will love these and take care of these better than I have for the past two years. If you've been around for a long time, you guys will know my obsession with Sailor Moon or what used to be an obsession with Sailor Moon. I I first found out about Sailor Moon when I was around like 6 or 7 in Korea. I would always come home and watch Sailor Moon episodes. Even back then I would always collect Sailor Moon like fashion books and coloring books and figures and stickers and stuff like that and that just kind of continued with me throughout um, my childhood. Even when I came back to America, they had Sailor Moon episodes on TV of course dubbed in English, which I hated, but that was the only option I had, so I watched that. The silver crystal can bring peace into the world when used by someone with a pure heart. But when it is used by someone with an evil heart, it immediately becomes a frightening weapon. <laughs> and then uh, after I got older, around like junior high school, high school, I found out how to watch Sailor Moon in the original Japanese version online. Yes, I don't think it's 100% legal, but... Okay, please don't sue me. Um, so yeah, after I started watching in the original version, 
and with subs, of course. And I realized, like, wow, there's a reason why this series was loved so much, and there's a reason why everybody watches the original version with subs instead of dubs. Korean dubs were really good too, um, but the English one, no. So I'm gonna try to show you guys some of the things I have on the shelf here. I can't go through all of them. This is my little brooch. Moon Crystal Power Makeup! <laughs> this one is the Sailor Moon Eternal version. She has wings and extra stuff on her outfit. <laughs> this is a regular Sailor Moon in the original version. Um, and this is the upgraded look. Of course, I put Usagi with Luna. Usagi is Sailor Moon's real name. And then we have Sailor Venus right here. We have Sailor Mercury version. And we have Ami version. Over here, we have Sailor Mars and Sailor Mars' wand. Over here, we have Sailor Jupiter and Makoto-chan, which is Sailor Jupiter's real name. We have chibi Usa and her cat Diana. We have Tuxedo Mask and Mamoru-chan. Oh my gosh, hey. He even has a hat here, so freaking cute. We have the Outer Soldiers here. They're not the main Sailor Moon characters. Sailor Neptune right here, she was my second favorite. She's so gorgeous and elegant. We have her lover, Sailor Uranus here. We have Sailor Saturn here, who's my third favorite, because she's so chic. And then we have Sailor Pluto right here. Of course, I put Neptune and Uranus together because they're lovers. Sailor Saturn, so badass, even though she's pretty young. Over here, we have the manga version of the Sailor Moon. And then here's the makeup section. We have foundation powder, lip balms, we have eyeliners and lipsticks, and more eyeliners. Oh my god, I'm such a hoarder. And then over here, we have playing cards, we have Christmas version stickers, and we have uh, puzzles, and two pouches, and then little charms right here. And then this is the stationery area. Sailor Moon masking tapes. We have more stickers, your earphones, like nail stickers too, a little keychain kind of thing. Socks. I have so many of these in different colors, but I just put this one as a representative one. <laughs> Up here, I have different photo cards that I've collected. And stickers again. I have Luna hairband that you're supposed to use when you're washing up. Sailor Moon puzzle from one of my listeners, Sound K listeners. This is a cup that Lisa got me from Japan. <laughs> She brought all of the characters, and we each took one, and of course, I got Sailor Moon. And then later, I ended up taking everyone else's too. <laughs> Cute. I'm gonna cherish this one forever. We have a necklace, we have a little brooch. We have a mini sticker book. This is from Sailor Moon Crystal. Don't even get me started on Sailor Moon Crystal. I was so mad. I was actually looking forward to it because, you know, I wanted to see how they would rebooted and then I was so no not even disappointed I was appalled when I saw the animations and the drawings for Sailor Moon Crystal because they made them look so ugly and don't even try to argue with me they they were supposed to upgrade it they did not upgrade it whatsoever it looks like they did a half-assed job maybe they were in a rush but there were so many scenes where I was like how could you look past this how could you let this air Sailor Moon doesn't deserve this. How could you? They made them like lankier. They made them even longer. I mean, come on. They're already so long. Look at their unrealistic proportions and how long their legs are. But they made them even longer and their faces even like... And their eyes are like... Bah! So I was really disappointed when I saw Sailor Moon Crystal. I didn't even watch the movie. No, because I was angry and I refused to watch it. Let me show you an example. Look, tell me, this is... Oh, I press this, like, focus on it. This is the original Sailor Moon. And this is the new version. I mean, I'll put it up on the screen for you guys to look at, but... Tell me not. The old version's better, right? I mean, like, 
Why would they make this change? I don't know. I just think the original is so much better. Let me know if you agree with me. Maybe there are people who like Sailor Moon Crystal. I will always love the original 90s version. Forever. Forever. It's a shame I don't have any of the Sailor Starlight figures or any of the villains. It would be iconic if I had like Black Lady or any of the Sailor Starlights because they were really hot too. They were the idols of Sailor Moon. <laughs> Oh. I also have this really soft blanket. <laughs> I have Sailor Moon LP as well. This is the 20th anniversary memorial tribute. I'll be bringing this since I do have an LP player. Alright, I think that's the end of my short Sailor Moon collection. Thank you Lovelace for making this possible. It did really make me happy but I think it's time to move on and I hope these go into the hands of a loving Sailor Moon fan please take good care of them for me Was moving always distressful? I don't know because the last time I moved I moved stuff from one room of the dorm into this place so I don't think I had a lot of stuff when I moved two years ago that's why I think I'm so overwhelmed right now I had no idea it would be so crazy I'm just wrapping some of my perfumes with the air wrap because I just want to make sure that they don't break while moving and then I'm gonna put them into like my fluffy bags so they're extra protected. I'm gonna put them into this fluffy bag that everyone thinks my mom made because I was like, oh, I'm wearing this bag from my mom made it and people thought my mom made it but the brand is called My Mom Made It. Good morning. It's... D-Day, moving day. Just woke up. It's 8.20. It's empty now. Bye bye. Joan and Cindy are helping me clean. <laughs> oh my gosh. Dude, if it wasn't for them, I would be so hopeless. I would have just sat here crying. She has Dude. a lot of stuff. <laughs> a lot is an understatement. This process is going very smoothly thanks to them. Adulting series what? Dude, you filmed your first adulting series when you moved, right? Yeah, I know when I was looking, looking for yeah. My, yeah, like house hunting. Come a long way. Yeah, still a long way to go. <laughs> no. Okay. Um. <laughs> 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 Do you see this? Joan? Uh, Joan? Yeah. Joan? Yeah. Joan? Yeah. Joan? Yeah. Soft collab? More than that? Do you guys see this? <laughs> No, I'm here. I, like this is like my uh, favorite thing to do. <laughs> Cleaning. Cindy only the top one on the boy. Why? 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 Cindy Anni Chinja, she is so ready. She's more ready than us. <laughs> it's better for your posture. Yeah, posture. Yeah. It's like nice and compact. So. Oh, I didn't even wash my face today. <laughs> no one washes their face on moving day. We're waiting for our jajangmyeon now. In Korea. The tradition is to eat jajangmyeon when you move. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
for fortune. But I got dumpling. <laughs> We're eating jajangmyeon for you. Yeah. Mmm. 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 Some sky blue colored bed sheets for the springtime. Ooh, I'm out of breath. It's so pretty. I'm still waiting on my bed frame though. Nice. I like it. Oh, it's hot. The other side of the room still looks like this though. Alright, I finally decided to get off the chair and wash up. Alright, I've just put some toner on, but to put serum on now. And for the serum, I've been using L'Occitane's Immortel Reset Serum for like the past three weeks. I'm really grateful that I always get to try all these different skincare products and recommend the ones that I really like to you guys. Uh, first when I saw the bottle, I thought like, wow, so pretty. Look at the gradient purple color fading to orange right here. I mean yellow. The bottle itself was just like really mesmerizing. So this is L'Occitane's best selling skincare product. And if you look at the bottle closely, there are these gold capsules inside. And apparently there are about 5,000 one of these bubbles and capsules inside. So Immortel is the ingredient, main ingredient of this product. And some facts about Immortel, it's also known as Immortal Flowers. Yeah, Immortal Flowers. It's a very precious ingredient known to heal wounds and prevent aging and apparently it's come from ancient times let me just put this while i'm talking because my skin is getting dry so this really helps with boosting skin recovery because it's got a lot of antioxidants inside and i would say the texture is the perfect balance of serum and oil and I know when you hear oil, some of you guys may be like, ugh. Even oil for me is a little daunting because I've had bad experiences with oil where they would break me out, but this is like in between serum and oil. So it's definitely moisturizing, but not sticky and not greasy at all. After you apply it, it gives you that moisturizing but light finish. And that's all thanks to the oil serum texture. I love using this at night too, but um, during the daytime, when I apply it, I feel like it absorbs really deep into the skin and it makes my skin dewy and ready for foundation or makeup on top. I feel like my makeup just sits really well on my face after using this product. I'll show you what my skin looks like with foundation. Let me go put some makeup on. It's been so long since I put makeup on. This is what my skin looks like now that I applied cushion foundation. Please ignore this little pimple that I have. I'm so scared to pop it. Let me put some lip balm on. Let me put some lip balm on. Ugh. Let me put some lip balm on. So my radio show used to be from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. KST, but it's changing to 2 to 4 p.m. KST. So I'm gonna have to get up earlier, be a little more diligent. Ooh, oops. This is what my skin looks like after foundation with the L'Occitane serum. Thank you so much to L'Occitane for sponsoring this video. I'm gonna get on with my day. I have some other things to film, so I'll do that and 
I'll edit a little bit and I'll 